Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hope all is well. Uh, I just wanted to give you uh, my latest dream. Actually, I had this one last night. Uh, this dream is uh, March 20th, 2019. Um, this was not symbolic. Um, in my opinion, this was very straightforward. So last night, I had a dream that I saw the leader of Iran. And he was walking next to a tall young man whose face I could not see. But I believe that this man was the Antichrist. I believe that the man had his arm around the leader of Iran. And he was a very smooth and and charismatic in the way that he was speaking to him. And behind them were many, many troops preparing for war. I listened in on the discussion of the two men and the tall young man was telling the leader of Iran that if we want to attack Israel, we must first make peace with them and then attack when they feel comfortable. The leader of Iran agreed. With, he agreed with the idea with a face of amazement. Again, this was last night's dream. Um, I find it amazing that the Lord gave me this dream uh, during the Feast of Purim. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, that war is about to happen. And out of this war is going to come the man of peace, which is the Antichrist, who will confirm the covenant with many, with the many Arab nations, not just Palestine, but the many, just as Daniel 9 27 says again we don't know the day or the hour um, we are told by the rabbis that their Messiah who we know is not our Messiah Jesus Christ but the false Messiah the Antichrist will be revealed during Purim um, Purim is a three-day feast Am I 100% sure that the Antichrist will be revealed within these three days? No, I'm not 100% sure. Um, only God knows, but it is said that he will be revealed by uh, the Israeli elections, which is April 9th. So, um, brothers and sisters, we, we are close. Again, we don't know the day or the hour, but... Things are heating up and uh, Jesus is at the door. If you haven't yet come to Christ, you know, I beg you, please do. Please come to Christ. Please admit you're a sinner. Accept him as your Lord and Savior in order that you may be saved and have eternal life. All right, God bless my brothers and sisters.